Camara Drive-In. I'm Jonathan Coachman. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, 2017 Offensive Rookie of the Year, Alvin Kamara. Fresh off a big performance a week ago, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Arizona Cardinals. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday night football. And on the call, as always, is Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New Orleans Saints and the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They come in playing some decent football, 5-3 and three in their last eight games. And last week's win was indicative of how good this team can be. It was a complete performance. Meanwhile, for the visiting Saints, they're in a real groove of late. Winners of five of their last six games. And the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. Time to set the old turducken aside and get ready for football as here we go on a Thanksgiving night. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018, drafted number one overall the subsequent year, Kyler Murray. They start the drive with Cook, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And here are the offensive starters for Arizona. And congratulations on their win last week, but they didn't get a whole lot of time to celebrate it on Sunday. They were right back to work on Monday, but you'll have to do things differently when you prepare for a Thursday night game, because normally you'll take some time off. Here you get right back to work, work on the game plan mentally, and probably not put any pads on until you play again Thursday night. You expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. On second down now, Akers. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Cook following the penalty. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Murray with a third and long. Oh, now Murray has it stripped. You better be ready next time. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. So the face mask puts them in even better shape than they were in as they'll have a short field here on first and 10. They'll run. This is Kamara. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The numbers there for Kamara from a week ago. 
There isn't a coach alive who wouldn't like those numbers. Well over 100 yards and a touchdown, too. Partner, I think all the coaches are in that great coaching box, and this guy would take those numbers. <laughs> so dead or alive. Either way, they would take they that would kind take. of production. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Back to throw. Herbert got a man open. It's Thomas. It's a touchdown for New Orleans. Michael Thomas. His fifth touchdown now on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Lutz good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive spanned five plays, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. They run the counter with Cook. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. So that one will be accepted. A give to Cook out of the gun. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second and a long way to go. Murray, this one caught by Isabella. And he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of two. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook. Pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Here's Murray. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. They'll run on first down. Akers gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Play fake. Murray under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Anthony Barr comes rumbling in for the sack. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Let's get this. Let's get this. Throwing is Murray on third down. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. 
Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December yeah, left. We're, we're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Second and two. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to his running back, Alvin Kamara, and it's third and short. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And I don't think Kamara got there. Looks like they stopped him short. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Second and nine now from the 21. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. On third down, Akers. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef feeders on the interior of this D-line you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. 47-yard punt, a return of four. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. So here are the Saints to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second down, Kamara. And this will go for five up to the 33. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. From the gun, Herbert. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. 
They fake the handoff. Now Murray. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Hit it. Watch 50. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. This is complete to Michael Thomas. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. On the ready. Three bar, three bar, three bar. Right Looking to throw on second down. Herbert throwing middle, but it's incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And it's third and short. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Looking to throw. Herbert, and he comes back with one complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Back to throw. Herbert, open man is Michael Thomas. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 39. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. To throw on second down, Herbert gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 22-yard line. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Here's Kamara off the draw. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you get a chance to come back to him when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. Well, still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Oh! 
Murray going to try to throw on third down. And he finds Cook. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. On second down, Akers. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. The Cardinals on third down, two for five to this point. This time, they face a third and two. Third and two, and here's Murray. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 22-yard line. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit them quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second and nine, Murray. Now he's forced out right. He'll try and run it. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. The Cardinals into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and 10 from the 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. On second down now, Akers. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time. And he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. Kyler Murray. His 19th touchdown now of the season as they are now on the board here in the first half. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Extra point right down the middle, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone, and he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. A 10th carry for Kamara. Shrugs him off. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first Let's down. Go, Let's go. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. Second and nine now. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. 
And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try to mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people, find some other playmakers, but always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, him. don't take him totally out of the game. Murray going to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. To throw is Murray. And this is incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Throwing again, Murray. And that will be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over at the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Throwing to start the drive. Herbert, five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the midfield strike, they look to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. I think you'd agree that looked like the right call from up here. No doubt about it. What everyone has to understand is that the officials are going to be right on the play each and every time. You may not like the call, but they're usually spot on. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second and five. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A bit of a catch for him to remember. That's number 400 for his NFL career. Not a bad number at all. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. Lots of look to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. Just a four-play drive that time. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. This is taken at his four. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. But we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. 
So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Murray now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Murray now on first down. And he's going to have the hook up to Scott. Now a timeout called with three seconds to go. And, of course, they're in field goal range in the final seconds of this first half. The kick by Joseph is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here on a Thanksgiving night. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, once again, happy Thanksgiving, everybody, as we'll run you through what's going on both today and later on this weekend. Plenty to look forward to in that early window, one being a noontime start up in Green Bay, a big one for the Packers, as they'll do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. Good games in the late afternoon as well, one being out in Santa Clara, where it'll be the 49ers taking on the Indianapolis Colts. And one final game to highlight is the Sunday night extravaganza, and they've got a good one this week between the L.A. Chargers and the Baltimore Ravens. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. This will be fielded at the eight. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. On first and ten, Herbert, and he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Yannick Ngakwe in there to get him, and that is now sack number 18 on the season for it. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. On the counter, here's Kamara. An eight-yard gain, so that gets them halfway there. Now they're left with a third and eight more. On third down, Herbert. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. They trail offense. First time to touch the ball in quarter three. And we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. We got four. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. That ball complete to Isabella. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. 
And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Herbert. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And this will be a jet sweep. Here's Thomas with it. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Ready, set. 50. Mike is a 50. Check mark 50. Cut, cut, cut. Snap. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Operating from the gun. Herbert, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow... Incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah. And now those 50 plus yarders seem easy for some reason. On first down, Akers. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards to pick up, good enough for an Arizona first. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Check. Check. Back to the ground. This time, Cook. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. On second down, Akers. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is, that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Yannick Ngakwe in there for the sack, and he's closing in on the all-time record. That's number 19 on the year. Throwing on third and long. Herbert firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. 
They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Now Murray off play action. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Now they'll run on the draw. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. From the gun on third down, Murray. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's played well, good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question is, when, and he's taken down. Back at his own seven, Yannick Ngakwe. It's his 20th sack of the season as he continues what could be a record-setting campaign. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles are usually more of the run stuff in variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right deep. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. So it's third and long, and you know this is going to be a pass. So defensively, they're bringing an extra defensive back and just blanket the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just looking the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. On second down, here's Murray. He gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook. Not able to get a single yard there, and it'll bring up third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw, it's Murray. He wants it all for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. 
straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. There he goes left side. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field. And I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. Brutal, so take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. Following the penalty, it's Kamara. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before go. he's brought down. Here we go. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Ready, ready. We are headed to the fourth here on Thanksgiving night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here we go. 50 plant. On first down, Herbert. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Another nice pickup through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. They get just two out of it there, and it's second down. This drive's taking more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Here's second and eight. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Porter. The Saints on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. Here it's third and three. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Here's Murray, and that is incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Throwing is Murray on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. That's it, baby. We got work. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. 
and it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. A game there of 30 big ones. With that run, double check my math. Yes, he he has hit 8,000 career rushing yards. And that's fantastic. That means he's now approaching the top 50 all-time rushers in NFL history. That means he just sped past Terrell Davis, who's in the Hall of Fame. And now he's just got to go ahead and be strong and run hard because he's chasing down Larry Zonka. So a jump there let's defensively. Go, go. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. They will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty. Kamara. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. From the gun, Herbert. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 34-yard line. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. Because strategy would tell you, run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the... And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler Jr. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. You know, a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. To throw on third down. Herbert, throw left side, complete. That's Jordan. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 70th catch for him on the year, like so many others. This goes for a first down. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Yannick Ngakwe in there for the sack. And that is now 21 for him on the year. Wow, what a season. Second and long. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Defensively, maybe a little too fired up there for a third down stop. Remember in preseason when we were going to camps and watching people? They worked on this, right? In the heat of the summer? <sighs> Didn't Still work did out. it anyway. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Five. Operating from the gun, Herbert. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Looking to throw on second down. Herbert. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans as his guys are in for six. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, 
Are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go. The ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. This one caught by Isabella. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. From the gun on third down. Murray, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Sheldon Rankins racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. They're going for it. It's Murray able to find Isabella. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Throwing now is Murray. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards to pick up, good enough for an Arizona first. Throwing on first down is Murray. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. And he comes back with one complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. He's at the 40, the 20, 10, and he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And that will bump the lead up to 26. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. 
This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch just one yard, making it third and nine. From the gun, Murray. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They run it again with Kamara. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they plan to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for New Orleans, they keep pace in the playoff race as they move to eight and three on the year. And now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for Arizona, it's starting to look like it won't be their year as they drop to five and six. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.